Magandang araw mga kapatid sa Paninang Balataya. Welcome to the new episode of Assignment po, titirahin ko. In today's video, pag-uusapan natin ang continuity and discontinuity of a function at a certain point. Usually, unang na-encounter to ng mga senior high students na nasa STEM track, the subject na basic calculus. At syempre, yung mga college students na may subject na calculus. Usually, differential. Kung kailangan mo to, subscribe muna. Ito nga alis. Kailan ba natin sinasabing continuous at discontinuous ang isang graph? The continuity of the graph can be loosely defined as the ability to draw without having to lift your pen from the paper. In other words, a curve with no breaks, gaps, or holes in it refers to a continuous curve. Madali salita, walang putol. Tuloy-tuloy, parang may forever. Aww. On the contrary, pag hindi siya continuous, eh di discontinuous. Maya-maya lang pag-usapan natin ito. Yung iba't ibang uri ng discontinuous. For now, let us formally define what is continuity. May tatlong requirements to before we can declare that a certain graph is continuous at a certain point. Una, at point A, a single valued function f of x is said to be continuous at x equals a of its domain when f of a is defined. Big sabihin, hindi siya undefined. Or imaginary numbers or indetermined. The limit of f of x as x approaches a exists. And the third condition, the limit of f of x as x approaches a should be equals to f of a, the 1 and 2. These three conditions should be satisfied before we can declare that a certain function is continuous at a certain point. Tira tayo ng isang example, galing to sa isang post sa FB groups na exam simplified groups. Dito, ko siya nakita. Let us check if f of x is continuous at x equals negative 2. If f of x is defined as 3x plus 5 if x is less than or equals negative 2. And 2x squared minus 9 if x is greater than negative 2. So those were the two intervals. First condition, tingnan natin kung f of negative 2 ay defined at x equals negative 2. Gagamitin natin yung f of x equals 3x plus 5. Since this is the function where the domain is x less than or equals to negative 2. Madalit salita, ang negative 2 ay nasa interval na to. So, a simple substitution from f of x equals 3x plus 5. We just replace x by negative 2. We have f of negative 2 equals 3 times negative 2 plus 5. And 3 times negative 2 is negative 6 plus 5, we get negative 1. So, obviously, define siya. It means that the first condition is met. Doon naman tayo sa second condition, na limit of f of x as x approaches a exists. Para masabi natin na nag exist limits ang isang function at a certain point, dapat yung left hand and right hand limit ay equal and defined. Ito bali yung kailangan natin pakita. The limit of f of x as x approaches a coming from the left should be equal to the limit of f of x as x approaches a coming from the right. Yung negative at positive naman sa exponent ng a, it only depicts a direction kung saan siya nanggaling. Negative for left, positive for right. Hindi niya naapektuhan yung sign ng A. Anyway, dito muna tayo sa left-hand limit. So the limit of f of x as x approaches A coming from the left is equals to the limit of 3x plus 5 as x approaches negative 2 from the left. So yung negative 2 raised to negative, it means that a number approaches coming from the left going to negative 2. Like 2.6, 2.5 negative 2.1, negative 2.01, negative 2.001, negative 2.00001, approaching negative 2 coming from the left. Anyway, let's continue. Just substitute negative 2 from the given function na f of x equals 3x plus 5. We get 3 times negative 2 plus 5 equals negative 6 plus 5 equals negative 1. Ito yung left-hand limit. Sa right-hand limit naman, ito yung gagamitin natin. The limit of f of x as x approaches a coming from the right is equals to the limit of 2x squared minus 9 as x approaches negative 2 from the right positive. Since an x ay may mga values coming from the right of negative 2, gaya ng negative 1.5, negative 1.8, negative 1.9, negative 1.99, negative 1.99999, negative 1.199999. Again, substitute na lang si negative 2 from the given function, we get the limit of 2x squared minus 9 as x approaches negative 2 
is equals to 2 times negative 2 quantity squared minus 9. Simplify further, negative 2, negative 2 is positive 4 times 2, you get 8. Minus 9, you get negative 1. Obviously, equal yung left and right hand limit natin, which is equals to negative 1. Oh, yeah. So we can say that the second condition is met. And for the third condition, na the limit of f of x as x approaches a should be equals to f of a, makikita natin from the first condition that f of negative 2 is equals to negative 1. And for the second condition, f of x as x approaches negative 2 exists, which is also negative 1. So obviously, condition 3 satisfied. Therefore, since the three conditions for continuity are satisfied, then we can say that f of x defined by this function is continuous at x equals negative 2. At Ibig sabihin nito, hindi siya putol. Continuous. Intact. Hindi hiwala. Ngayon naman, pag-usapan natin ang discontinuous function. Gaya ng mga to. Padalit salita, putol. Biyak. Hiwalay. Walang pino na maasa. Wala pala akong tipay na maasa. Typically, may tinatawag tayong removable and non-removable. Yung removable discontinuity, ito yung point sa graph na undefined. O di kaya, ay hindi nag-fit dun sa rest of the graph. Kagaya ng dalawang graph na to. Both of the limit exist at x equals a, kaya lang, hindi equal sa f of a. Yung mga non-removable naman, or sometimes called essential, ganito itsura nun. Called jump discontinuity, infinite discontinuity or asymptotic discontinuity, and the oscillation discontinuity. Isa-isahin natin ito. Again, let us take some examples taken from the boost. f of x is equals to x squared minus x minus 2 all over x minus 2 at x equals positive 2. If you observe, this function can be simplified as x minus 2 times the quantity x plus 1 all over x minus 2. Think called factoring. So typically, since the numerator and denominator have the same expression, can cancel it out. Baka nga pala may magtanong, eh kapatid sa pananampalataya, equal ba talaga itong x plus 1 sa original function? Kasi sa original function, hindi pwedeng x equals 2. Pero sa simplified function, pwede na. Kung pag-uusapan natin ang domain ng x, or mga pwedeng values ng x, hindi sila equal. Kasi, sa una, bawal lang 2. Kasi magiging undefined yung function natin. Pero sa pangalawa, sa x plus 1, ay hindi naman. They are equal if we remove x equals 2 sa domain. Anyway, clarification lang naman. Ang concern natin dito, kung continuous ba sa f of x at x equals 2. Actually, hindi. Sa first condition pa lang, Sablaya ka. Kasi ang f of 2 will give us 0 over 0, which is indetermined. Naka-indeterminate form siya. Hindi siya defined sa mundo ng real numbers. Ganito ang itsura ng graph nito. Ito ay isang uri ng removable discontinuity. The limit as x approaches 2 exists, pero yung f of 2 is not defined. Minsan tinatawag itong whole discontinuity. Okay? Another example. Suppose f of x is equals to 1 over x plus 1. Is it continuous at x equals negative 1? Like the second example, first condition pa lang, sablay na. Kasi ang f of negative 1 will give us 1 over negative 1 plus 1. Or we have 1 over 0 or a number over 0, which is undefined. Ganito ang itsura ng graph nito. This is an example of, of non-removable discontinuity or essential discontinuity. In particular, tinatawag natin itong infinite discontinuity or asymptotic discontinuity. Okay? Isa pang example. Let us check if the function defined by is continuous at x equals 0 and at x equals 1. Dalawa yung check natin. Dito muna tayo sa x equals 0. First condition. If x is equals to 0, then f of 0 is equals to 0. Dito, ginamit natin tong f of x equals x kasi dito included yung x equals 0 sa domain niya. Second condition. Let us get first the left-hand limit. The limit of f of x as x approaches a coming from the left is equals to the limit of x squared plus 1 as x approaches 0 coming from the left. Negative exponent. So, a simple substitution. 
that is equals to 0 squared plus 1, which is equals to 1. And for the right-hand limit, the limit of f of x as x approaches a coming from the right is equals to the limit of x as x approaches 0 from the right, positive exponent, which is obviously by substitutions equals to 0. Since the left-hand limit is not equal to the right-hand limit, it means that the limit of f of x as x approaches 0 does not exist. Although nag exist yung left and yung right, but both are not equal, so we can say that the limit of f of x as x approaches 0 does not exist. Kasi di ba, ang conditions ng existence ng limit, the left and the right should be equal. Therefore, discontinuous siya kasi the second condition is not met. Okay, try naman natin if x is equals to 1. Same function pa rin. First condition, for x equals 1, we use f of x equals 1 minus 3x. Again, nandun kasi yung domain niya. Doon siya nabibilang. Then, f of 1 is equals to 1 minus 3 times 1, which is equals to negative 2. So, define siya. Second condition, for left-hand limit, the limit of f of x as x approaches 1 from the left is equals to the limit of x as x approaches 1 coming from the left is equals to substitution that is simply equals to 1. And for the right-hand limit, the limit of f of x as x approaches 1 coming from the right is equals to the limit of 1 minus 3x as x approaches 1 from the right is equals to 1 minus 3 times 1, which is equals to negative 2. Since the limit of f of x as x approaches 1 from the left is not equal from the limit of f of x as x approaches 1 from the right, we say that the limit of f of x as x approaches 1 does not exist. Therefore, this continues then ang f of x at x equals 1. Pareho sila. Mangisawuki. Ito nga palang itsura ng graph nila. Again, this is an example of non-removable discontinuity or essential discontinuity. Specifically, tinatawag na natin tong jump, jump, jump discontinuity. Both of them. At x equals 0 and x equals 1. Kung mapapansin nyo dito, yung both sides of the limits exist but not equal. Hindi sila bagay. Aww. Our last example for this continuity, specifically non-removable, is the function defined by f of x equals sine of 1 over x. Let us check if this function is continuous at x equals 0. Obviously, the first condition is not met since f of 0 will give us sine of 1 over 0. And we know that 1 over 0 is undefined. Ito ang itsura ng graph niya. Magnifying natin. Ayan. Kung mapapansin nyo, the graph oscillates as x getting closer and closer to 0. Inig. Anak sa ka ng... This happens when the values of the function appear to be approaching to two or more values simultaneously. Okay ba tayo doon, mga kapatid? Recap tayo. Just by looking at the graph, at points negative 3, 0, 2, 4, and 5, at point equals negative 3, meron tayong removable discontinuity. At x equals 0, meron tayong non-removable discontinuity, specifically jump discontinuity. At x equals 2, again, removable discontinuity. Kasi the limit of f of x as x approaches 2 exists but not equals to f of 2. At x equals 4, continuous siya. At sa x equals 5, discontinuous siya. Pinatawag natin infinite discontinuity ng removable. Sana makatulong pong video na to para mas maunawaan natin ang konsepto ng continuity. Shoutout nga pala kay Joel Valin. Isa to sa mga katrabaho ko at mabait na tao. Let us support this channel. Joel Valentin. Subscribe na rin tayo dito. At sa dating student na si Richard Gando at sa mga taga Mindanao State University, salamat sa suporta at panunood sa ating channel. Thank you very much. Mga mga chuchu. Kung mayroon kayong tanong, clarification, suggestion para mas mapaganda at makatulong pa ang channel natin, just let me know. Just comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell para updated kayo sa mga i-upload ko na bagong video. And once again, thank you very much. Keep safe and God bless.